Hey yo, what's up guys? Mr. Kydrix here again, doing another video for you guys today. Sorry if I do not sound too good in this video. I'm a little bit sick at the moment. But today I'm going to be showing you guys a haul for my entire collection of the figures that I got for the past month. So let's just get right to it. So first things first, in an update video that I uploaded about a month ago, I mentioned that I was going to be getting this figure. And I did. It is the Kyoto Tyrannosaurus Rex. I wanted to get this figure when it was first announced. But at the time I didn't have any money, and it sold really fast. And I tried looking for it on websites, and they either didn't have it in stock, or it was too expensive. So after a few months later, I found it on eBay. They were selling two variants. One was the green variant, and there was this variant. I went for this one, and I'm very happy to have my collection. It is a scientifically accurate T-Rex, based on the recent studies. And they really reflect well on this figure. I absolutely love this figure, especially the paint job. It stands out in my collection. And I do plan on reviewing this. I don't know when, though, because I'm currently busy at the moment. But I'm very glad that I got it. And I do recommend it. If you find it, um, get it if you can. Next up, I got the Collecta 2018 Tyrannosaurus Rex. Um, this is the deluxe version. Um, there was one released about a few years ago that was completely feathered. This is the one that doesn't have a lot of feathers. And at the time, I wanted to get the one that was completely feathered. But again, I didn't have money at the time and it sold quick because everybody wanted it. And unfortunately, it's going for expensive prices. I have found one on eBay that I'm debating on whether or not to get because it's very decent due to the price. But since I have this one, I'll be debating on whether or not I'll get that one. But this one is also great to... I just really love the detail on it. The feathers look nice. I also love how its head is pointing up to the sky so when you open up its jaw it looks like it's roaring proudly. So yeah, I'm very happy to have this in my collection. And it's quite big too. It's a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. So yeah, very very nice figure. Next up is the Collecta Andrew Sarkis. And I got this one off of Amazon for a very decent price. And I'm very happy that I got it because this figure is just amazing. Like, the detail on it is absolutely great. Um, there's slight inaccuracy, I believe, that the flanges should be a little bit up more from the jaw instead of being kind of crocodile-like. But it's just a minor nitpick. Everything else on it just looks absolutely fantastic. And I'm thinking about getting one of these for my honey bun. So I hope she'll enjoy it when she gets it. But yeah, overall this is a great figure and I'm glad I got it. And much like with the um, Collector T-Rex, it's a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a bit smaller. But who's going to complain, you know? So I'm very happy to have it. Next up, I got this off of eBay. Um, this figure has gotten scarce recently. Well, it's been scarce for a long time because it was out of production. And... When I found it on eBay a few times, I was going to get it, but then someone else bought it. And then recently I found it again, and I was quick to pick it up. It is the original Papo Green Tyrannosaurus Rex. And let me just say this right now. I absolutely love this figure. It looks just like the Tyrannosaurus Rex buck from the Lost World Dress Park. And originally I had thought that I bought... Um, this version about a few years back, but I ended up buying a counterfeit, so I'm glad to have the actual figure now. All I need to do is get the um, newer um, brown variant, hopefully soon, because it's also gone out of production, so I can get it to go alongside this one. So yeah, I'm very happy to have this, and if you find one on eBay, pick it up. Um, if it's out of your price range, don't pick it up, but if it's reasonably priced like this one was... Um, don't hesitate to get it because these things are getting scarce. And I also got this recently. Um, I got this for a very cheap price as well. It is the Safari Limited Hermit Crab. Um, I don't remember when this was released, but I know it was released a few years back. And to be honest, it's very nicely detailed. I love the shell on it. The eyes look nice. I like the little mouth right here because it looks like he's smiling. And it's just very nicely detailed overall, and part of my voice crack there. 
I loved hermit crabs ever since I was seven. And I'm very happy to have this. And it's also decently sized. Kind of reminds me of um, that one documentary that David Attenborough narrated about hermit crabs. Here we see the young hermit crab out on the shores of the beach. That was probably the worst David Attenborough impression ever, but it's in the video now, so yeah, I really love this, and it looks good in my collection. Alright, so now I'm going to be moving on to some kaiju figures that I got. Um, also, in the update video I mentioned, I was going to be getting this. It's the um, Mezco uh, King Kong of Skull Island figure. Um, I really love this a lot, because it's a very nicely detailed um, figure. It's based on King Kong of Skull Island, which is a book, because I think Mezco couldn't get the rights to the um, 2017 Kong from Skull Island, so they went for this one. And to me, it looks a lot like the 1933 King Kong, just a little bit, um, kind of cartoony in a bit. But I absolutely love it, and I'm glad it's fully articulated. I keep mine in the box because I don't have room for him anywhere on my shelf. But there he is, and I'm glad to have him. Just put the camera down a little bit. Next up, I got this. Um, I got this from my dealer store. It is the little Bandai Godzilla um, 1989. Um, it's not really in good condition, as you guys can see. It's got dust and white marks all over it. So it needs a bit of a cleanup. The tail also has a little chip right there. But I'm glad to get it because you guys know that 1989 and 1991 are um, one of my f favorite suits from the um, Heisei series. And I bought this one to go and scale with the new band I buy Alante that I have in my collection. So yeah, even though it's second-handed, very glad that I have it. Next, I found this on eBay for a cheap price. A um, very reasonable price. And I was quick to pick it up as soon as I saw it. It is the Bandai Gauss, the Memorial Box version. And as you guys know, Gauss is one of my um, favorite monsters in the Gamera series alongside Barugan. So I was very happy to pick this one up. And yeah, the color is a little bit off, but you know, who's going to complain? It's Gauss. He was a weird monster. He's always going to be a weird monster. But that's what Gauss is. He's awesome and he's weird. So I really love this figure a lot. I also got it with the little card, the tag came with. It's a poster, Gauss, camera. Bandai 1999. Close up from the poster. 65 meters. This is number 6 out of the Memorial Box line. So, yeah. Very happy. Very, very happy to get this. And also on eBay, I found this for a decent price. It is the Sega Showa Gamera. Now, I don't know if this one's based on the one from the first movie, because it looks like the one from the first movie, or it's based on one of them from the later Showa movies. But nonetheless, I got it, and I love it. The detail on it's really nice. Especially on the shell, it looks really good. And overall, I just like it. Um, it's not articulated, because it's supposed to be a statue figure. The only thing that moves is the tail, because you're supposed to attach it. But I'm still happy to have it, and it goes in great scale with Gaios, in my opinion. So yeah, happy to have these two in my collection. And for those of you guys who have been on my channel from the beginning, you guys know that I have a love for trains. Uh, locomotives were my favorite thing when I was a kid. I was so into them. Especially after watching Thomas the Tank Engine, the series. And I am, I still watch it to this day a little bit when I get bored. And I absolutely love the series. And I love trains in general. And I used to have a whole bunch. I did videos of layouts that I did. Um, layout updates for the layout that I created for my trains. All the custom trains that I made. But unfortunately, I sold all the trains. And I got rid of all the stuff that I had previously. And... Recently, I got back into the hobby, so I started collecting some. So I'll be showing you guys the ones that I got. Uh, I got the Takara Tomy C6120 locomotive. Here's the box. 
And there's um, a picture of the engine you get inside. It also comes with a coach. It's the back side to show you how to put the batteries in. Yeah, it's all in Japanese. Can't read it, but it's pretty easy. You can tell what the box is trying to tell you. And um, here's the locomotive. Um, this one has to be my favorite locomotive so far. Right there at the front it says C6120. The lights at the front do work. Um, there's the um, side rods right there, the gold to indicate detail, the whistles. It just looks really nice. And as I said, it does light up. Here's the tender, the coal, uh, the opening for the uh, water to go in. There's a lamp in the back, but it doesn't light up because it's tender and it's very light and it also came with this little coach right here um, might be getting a few more of these because I only have one coach there's the door, the other door, the, cu the couplings and I'm just I just love this overall feels good to have trains again I also did get the Takara Tomy Type C12 locomotive here's the box, here's a picture Oh yeah, and before I forget, uh, with the uh, C6120, I did get the card that it comes with in the box. So there it is. So yeah, here's the box. Here's the locomotive. The back. Again, the locomotive. And here's the loco itself. C1250. Call it the back. The detail is really nice. Front looks great. There's a lamp, but it doesn't turn on. The side rods, the coupling. Um, I call this one wobbly wheels because when you turn it on, it kind of just goes thump, thump, thump. And on the track, it kind of thumps while it moves, but nonetheless, I still like it. Kind of gives it a bit of character because, you know, locomotives in real life aren't perfect. So, yeah, very happy to have this. I also did get quite a few bits of rolling stock, like for example, I got this uh, freight car, it holds um, little Hot Wheel cars inside. And I also did get this um, shipment wagon, um, the blue variant, because the red variant is ridiculously expensive. That's how it looks, let's see if I can get into focus, that's how it looks, there it is again. But I'm not featuring them in this video because I have them stored away somewhere. So I'll just be showing the boxes. I do also have other bits of rolling stock, such as um, I got an oil tanker, a milk tanker, a uh, caboose brake van, as well as two small ventilation vans. And I also have Thomas and Percy from the original um, Hit Toy Company um, toy line, but I'm not featuring them in this video because, again, I have them put away. And hopefully soon, um, once I get growing back into the hobby again, I'll be doing layout updates and showing the layout all over again. But other than that, this is the um, haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I do have a few more things to show you guys. For those of you guys who have stayed with me from the beginning on my channel, um, I have some old things that I would like to show you guys. Um, well, not really old. It's just old stuff that I used to do back then when my channel began. Um, I recently started bringing them back, so I'll be showing them in other videos. Uh, I'll have another episode of Mezzoc Valley up. Um, I'll have more videos up soon. I also have the Q&A video, so if you guys haven't checked out that video, there's a card popping up right now um, where you can drop your questions, or you can drop them down below in this video. And, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, look forward to some more videos. This is Mr. Kydrick signing out. Stay awesome.